two main brackets for the alternator. So you've got this one with uh, three uh, bolt holes and this one uh, with two, which is the adjuster. This is the pivot. This mounts to the engine with um, five of these bolts, which have a little shoulder on. It's a 14mm head. So you come around to this side. This is on the inlet side. We just uh, place the bolts in and do them up like so. Grab one, then two, three, then grab the other adjuster, the first one, this goes up here. And the second. Okay. Then I just get my 14mm socket and then I'll just do each of these five bolts up. This is the pivot bolt. This goes in first. So you can just uh, put that in there. And this uh, can feed in uh, from this side. Okay, and it just has a little nut on the end. And then there's the adjuster bolt on the top here. And it just looks like that. And it goes through from this end. And then we'll just um, tighten these nuts up. You don't want to tighten it too much, but just enough so you can still move the uh, alternator. That's okay. Here I've got the uh, Gates um, Micro V Horizon belt. So it's the part number you need to order if that's what you want to do. Um, so putting it on. We're going to first um, slip it over our main pulley, put this to uh, fully in, so, and then we're going to slip the belt over, like so, just check it's right the way around both pulleys, and then we can um, just simply add some tension on here. So make sure there's a little bit of tension on the uh, bottom bolt, but not too, uh, too much that will stop it. I'm going to use Jimmy. Um, to uh, tighten up, we put the tension on this belt. So just whack Jim down the side here. Like so you see how that's adding tension to the belt, not too much, but just enough. Make sure you can do half a twist. Yeah, half twist. So get the tension on there, get your 12 mil. And tighten that up. Take Jimmy out. And then you should see that's nice and tight. And just uh, snug that up. And get your 14 mil and just uh, tighten up your bottom bolt here. It's mainly a supporting roll but it's uh, you make me make sure it's tight. Okay so that's tight, that's tight. Alternator belt is uh, tight enough. So that's it. Now we've got the VTEC solenoid to install. Um, I haven't got another uh, gasket although you probably could buy one. This one looks in reasonable uh, nick. So you've just got these uh, three 10mm bolts, they're all the uh, same length, um, like so. Then uh, you can just install it in here. Um, so you see it's already got kind of a witness mark of where it goes. So just hold that. And just uh, start threading these on.
Okay, let's do that. Do you want to go crazy tight on these? I think 10 more bolts, it's threading into aluminium, so. That's it, it's tight. Sending unit sensor, get a little bit of the uh, Honda Bond on there, smooth it round. Now we can just thread that into here. Our hand, and then get the uh, 12 mil deep. Then we have the coolant temperature sensor. So again, place a little bit of Honda Bond on here. Put the in. To here, and this is the uh, nineteen mil on the deep. We get this uh, coolant pipe, and again, we've got the Honda Bond on it. And then we're using the 22 mil a deep socket here. That's going down here. I've already wire brushed this, the outside and the inside here as well. Can you see that? Just to make sure the surface is clean because you want this to thread up nice and neatly. Be careful not to cross thread this as it goes in. So get the 22 mil on there. Long way to go. That's tight. So I've cleaned up the coolant neck um, with a razor blade, um, both on this um, face and then this face. Then I could just come round again with some Honda Bond, um, just round the surface. So I put a Honda Bond uh, around the edge of the cool neck and then I just need to place it in here. I've got these two 10mm bolts, securing that to the head and they're um, both the same length. So I've just got a 10mm, let's do that lightly. And just do this up. Crazy with this, just enough, and that's tight. It's a new thermostat. Um, it is a one from Gates, and uh, that's the uh, part number. I think that's the part number there. Um, here, this is the seal. This came in the kit. Obviously, the um, thermostat's going to want to go in like so. But first of all, you're going to want to put the um, gasket on here. So it's just a simple matter of, um, you see it's got a band in the centre there. And uh, that needs to get threaded either side. So I'll just start off by uh, working the sensor, working the gasket around. What you want to do is this little cutout at the top there, make sure that, the, um, that this little relief valve, poppet valve, is at the top. Uh, so that's in there the whole way, like so. Then 
I'll just replace that in here. You see it has two little dimples either side at the top. Um, so that wants to go here. And the two little dimples like that. As so. And then I have the cover for it which has its own sensor inside there. And then you can just screw that into place. 10 mils, both at the same length. Open that up. And that's that, new thermostat. We're right into the exhaust side. Um, we have these little studs that um, hold the exhaust manifold on. So you can see there's um, a smaller side and a longer side. Well, shorter and longer side. You can just screw them in by hand. Make sure they're all the same. You can see there's one, two, three four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of them, which are all identical. Let's just screw them in, get the picture. And then here we have um, a little heat shield. Um, so it's got two bolts here, two little 10 mils, not particularly long, and that's the heat shield itself. And then we can just um, uh, place that in like so. And, uh, I think that's just to stop the uh, edge of the, this cam belt cover getting too hot and melting because of the heat of the exhaust on the fold. And the other 10 mil here, just spread that in. Scratch it out. Again, 10 mil. Don't go crazy. That's it. So just make sure they're all tight into the block, just hand tight, then get this on and then you can mount the um, exhaust manifold. First look at the Skunk 2421 um, Alpha uh, manifold I have, I've just got the normal gasket in, I'm just going to place it in there. And so, and then just put the standard nuts on there and do it up just to check the fit.